what we'll consider now is something called the motor effect. What it is, when it has an effect, and how you basically calculate and deal with that effect. So the motor effect is really something quite simple. It refers to the situation where you have a wire that is carrying a current, I for conventional current, in a magnetic field. So repeating that again, the conditions that you need are you need to have a current, which is in a wire, in a magnetic field. If you've got a current flowing in a magnetic field, then the result is a force on the wire. Now this force, remember, is a vector. So because a force is a vector, then you have both magnitude and direction. And it's quite simple to do this. The magnitude can be calculated using a formula, which is simply F equals B I L sine theta, where F is the force in newtons, B is the magnetic field strength in Tesla, L is the length of the wire in the magnetic field, if it's not entirely in the magnetic field, and as to length, it, you measure that in meters. And theta here is basically like the theta we did before. It's the angle between the magnetic field and the current. So our formula is F equals BIL, where each of the things here represent what's listed down there. F is the force in Newton. B is the magnetic field strength in Tesla. L is the length of the wire in meters. And theta is the angle between the magnetic field, in this case, going into the page, and the wire going to the right, the current going to the right. So the angle between those two is 90 degrees here. So in my example here, theta equals 90 degrees. The direction of the force is very simple. Just like before, use the right-hand palm rule. So we said the thumb represents the direction of positive charge when we did it with the right-hand palm rule before. The fingers represent the direction of the magnetic field. And the palm represents the direction of the force, which is exactly the same. It's just that with your thumb, the direction of the positive charge is basically the direction of I, the direction of the current. So if you think about what we learned before with what current is, current is the flow of charge. So if you just think of the current, this I, as positive charge is going to the right, then you're basically doing the same thing. And we'll talk about how these things probably are related in a moment, because you basically have a very similar looking formula. And also, you have the direction being the same, getting the same rule. But for now, applying that here, your thumb is going to be pointing to the right. Your fingers are going to point into the page. That leaves you with your palm pushing upwards, which means that the force on the wire will be pushing up. And that here will be your motor effect.